Good morning, folks. How y'all doing this morning? Captain Coy here. Welcome back to the channel. As y'all can tell with my attire, it's uh, pretty chilly out here. It's about 45 degrees this morning and uh, plan on going to catch some speckled trout this morning. Gonna be hitting up some bayous, trying to find some deep poles and hopefully get on some decent sized trout. But before I do that, I wanna show y'all some of the lures that I'm gonna be using. All right guys, so these are the lures that I plan on using this morning. We'll see how that goes, but I've got a little slick, I've got the big slick, and I've got some H&K custom lures here, a little jerk shad. I tell you what, these right here has been, uh, have been my favorite so far in the past couple weeks. I've been really getting on some good trout action. And uh, I do like the chartreuse colors. And I also wanna show y'all how I rig up these uh, slick lures. So here's the slick lure right here. This is the big slick. It's a uh, chartreuse, not that color right there. It's actually a different pack. But uh, this is the Owner Beast 4 alt hooks here. And they actually have a little small weight on the shank of the hook there. And uh, I, I do feel like it helps to have a little bit of a weight. And it's got like a little uh, thread screw here. If y'all can see that right there. I'm just gonna show y'all how I rig it up. So you're just gonna put it right on the end of that slick lure. And you're gonna turn it clockwise and let it screw in until it gets to the base of that hook eye there. I already have my line tied to the eye. And then once you get, let's see, once you get close to the eye there, this lure has a little slit in it right there, as y'all can see. You're just gonna rig it just like a, uh, you would a, a worm bass fishing. Put that hook in there just like that. Make it protrude through the lure. And that's a, a weedless slick lure right there. Whenever you set the hook, you do have to set the hook really good on these trout, that hook will bust through the lure just like that and uh, usually have a good hook set. I do like to add a little Procure on these lures just to give it a little scent, but that's ready to go right there. I've got two more setups right here, a jerk shad and a little slick with a quarter ounce jig head. That's the lures that I'm gonna be using. I'm fixing to get all this set up. We're gonna go down to the launch and I'll see y'all out on the water. Well, all right guys, just got out here. Haven't been out here five minutes. Made one cast good 17 18 inch trout right there that was on the uh the little slick lure with a quarter ounce red head jig head i didn't think i was going to have much luck until about an hour from now because that's when the tide will start rising but we do have some water movement where i'm at right now and i am liking that water temp y'all 60 degrees we're in 10 foot of water we're going to give it a few more casts this isn't even where i planned on going this morning i was going to try and hit some deeper holes but we're going to make a few more casts here let's get on some fish so as I said, it's a dead low tide right now. So y'all can see the, uh, the bank right over there where it gets shallow. And it's about 10 foot all the way till you get to that bank. And I'm seeing bait on top of the water. Let's see if we can get us another fish here. I'm just working it kind of slow, giving it a bounce, a bounce or two. That little slick has some great action in the water. There we go. There we go. This one might not be legal. Yeah. On the little slick, baby. Yeah, he's gonna be short. He's gonna be short. Man, they're cold. Very cold. He ain't. He barely got any spots on him. Check that out. I like to switch up how I work these lures to find out what they like. So you can give it a little bounce, bounce. You can let it drop to the bottom, pick it up, let it fall back down, pick it up, let it fall back down. You can just reel it kind of slow, give it a, a bump every now and then. There we go. There's a thump. Mm. There's another one, baby. <laughs> Same size. Come on. Skip them across the water. He cute. Where's your mama? Give me that. One good thing about these slick lures, y'all, they're very tough. You can catch a lot of fish on just one, one uh, jig. 
Jeez. <laughs> oh, that's a white trout. That might be why. A little white trout. Catch everything on these things. All right, we're gonna give the big slick a try. See if we can find a bigger one out of that school of smaller ones there. Make sure that drag set pretty tight. That way I can really yank on that, that hook set. When I cast it out, I do like to let it sink for a few seconds before I start working it. A lot of times they'll hit it on the, on the fall. So as I mentioned before, I do like using this Procure. I'm gonna put a little of that Procure on there. That way if they miss it, maybe they'll get a taste of it and come back a second time. Put it all on there, get some good stank. There we go. There we go. Come on, stay on the hook. That's a good fish. No, it's not. <laughs> it snagged him. Okay, no, it didn't. Jeez, that dang white trout eat the, ate that slick lure, y'all. Look at that. That's a good sized white trout. We'll keep him. All right, I'm gonna have to go back to the little slick. I was having a lot more hookups with this one. Mm hmm Yeah. Come to Papa. Decent speckled trout. Probably not a keeper. We'll let him go. He probably is a keeper though. He's probably 15 inches. Looking for a little bit bigger. There we go, y'all. All right, let's try the old HK pearl white see if we can get him on that there you go come on i feel him messing with it <clears throat> got you that time buddy got you <laughs> another small one i think all right we're gonna have to make a move we got to find some bigger fish y'all i don't know this might be a keeper nope just a big old white trout Big white trout. He's probably about 13 inches. I don't know why I just did that. I'm, I am keeping them fish. <laughs> All right, guys, so I think that's why the bite kind of quit there for a second. You can see the tide just absolutely bottomed out, stopped moving, and right about now, it's starting to, to rise. And that's what you want is some tidal movement. So we're moving down the bayou a little bit going to try and find a deeper hole see if we can see some trout stacked up somewhere so new location 15 foot of water and it's 59 degrees We've got a few marks here still going to be throwing this uh little slick chartreuse color jeez make a little more noise There we go. He hit it. He hit it good. There we go. That's a good fish. That's a keeper. Yeet. I knew they had to be in here. I knew it. That's about a 17, 18 incher there. On little slick again. Yeah, 17 inches. Good fish, good fish. I hope there's another one. I started seeing them pogies flipping. I figured there had to be something in here eating on them. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. He came up and smashed it. That's another keeper, maybe. 15 inches on the dot. Perfect eating size there. All right, we got we got something going on now. We got we got a little action. That fish ate that lure when it was sitting still. I was fixing to move us up just a little bit. I'm thinking they're going to be stacked up right here. That's what I'm hoping, anyways. There we go. Fish on, baby. Right there at the boat. Oh, he just came off. Dang it. That was a decent fish there. 
God dang. <laughs> That's a little loud. Trout, oh trout, where art thou? Struggle bus today. Oh, there we go. That was a bump. Come on. Mm, got him. That's a good fish. Good fish. Mm. Good fish. Come on, stay on. Stay on. Yeet. <laughs> Heck yeah. 16 incher for the box. <laughs> Y'all, I just had this rod sitting in the rod holder and the lure, I could literally see it and this fish came up and ate it. <laughs> I think it's another keeper trout. It is. That's crazy. Sitting here trying to fish, jigging for him. I just leave it in the rod holder and he comes up and grabs it. I'm gonna make sure it's a keeper. Oh yeah, 15 inches on the dot. I'd much rather keep these smaller fish than the big ones. We got one more before we get a limit. Mm, that's a good fish right there. Come on, stay on the hook. Golly, man. They slam it like they're huge. <laughs> he ain't even a keeper. <laughs> Embarrassing me over here. We got them though. Using that copper sparkle big slate. Oh my gosh, he slammed it. I know that's a good fish. <laughs> Man, he hammered that dang mirror lure. That was a third cast with it, guys. He ain't even that big. I mean, he's definitely a keeper. Yeah. Slam that lure. Old trusty hot pink chartreuse. Got the trout. Knew it. Let's see. Another 17 incher. I ain't mad about that. Well, all righty guys, that is gonna wrap it up for today's video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Somewhat productive day. I mean, we got a limit of trout and it's like 8.30 in the morning. So I'm not complaining about that. They wasn't really stacked up like I thought they were gonna be. I guess the water temperatures isn't quite cold enough yet. They were kind of spread out, really had to cover some ground to get on them. But yeah, y'all be looking forward to some more speckled trout action. I know it's gonna get hot here in the next few weeks. Also, y'all drop a comment below. Let me know what y'all would like to see next. Y'all stay safe. We'll see you back out in the water next time. Come on, trouts. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought I just had a massive trout. 